Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm about to show you how you can make your own hi-hats in Ableton's operator synthesizer. In fact, what we've got here is a drum rack that consists of four elements synthesizing operator or modeled after the drum heads from TR909 drum machine from Roland. Here's what the elements sound like. So here's the kick, hi-hat and clap and snare. So in this video, I'm just going to focus on making this hi-hat. And this drum rack is available as a free download in the description. Grab it for yourself, try it out and see if it can work in your track. And what's so awesome about having drum elements in operator instead of samples is that you have much more ability to change this timbre, uh, for example, the decay and all sorts of other parameters which are only available from the synthesizer. For example, we've got the decay knob here and we can easily increase that. We are getting an open hi-hat instead of a closed one. And yeah, you can actually even randomize these parameters. So each time you hit randomize, you get a brand new hi-hat. So basically making hi-hats with this rack or any other elements is as easy as clicking randomize a few times and just picking what you like. And hopefully by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to make your own hi-hats. One quick disclaimer is that the TR909 drum machine used a sample actually of a hi-hat. It was the TR808 which uh, used a synthesized hi-hat. So this is not going to be perfect obviously. The open hi-hat is a signature sound from the 909 and can't really be replaced by a white noise from a synthesizer. But in this way you can make all kinds of more synthy hi-hats which are really really useful in all sorts of genres. And this is actually really really simple. Before we get into the details, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. We've got a lot more coming up. Also, we're going to be releasing videos on other elements from this drum rack, so keep an eye on the channel. Okay, so let's open up this instrument track, take out the operator, I'll make a new MIDI track and I'll paste it in here. So as you can see, the sound actually comes from only one oscillator. This can be done in any of the synthesizers in Ableton. All you need is an oscillator which generates white noise and you need to shape it with an amp envelope and also uh, add a bit of filtering. And that's pretty much it. So let's quickly initialize this patch and we'll start from scratch. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses, spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish so check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. Okay, so let's choose white noise over here. We've got a sine wave right now. So choosing white noise. And we can actually increase this filter so that we're playing the whole sound. But we want to obviously shape the amp envelope. So let's go all the way down with the sustain. And now we can actually decide how long we want the decay to be. Let's keep it short. For now, we can always open it up later. The same as with the release, we can actually uh, map both the decay and release so that our sound does not uh, stop after we stop holding the key. And let's go to 380. And this should be the basis of our sound. So this is really, really quick. If you are in need of a quick hi-hat that's synthesized, this is it pretty much. But obviously we can make it much better by adding a filter. So let's add a high pass filter here, 12 dB per octave filter. And all of these shapes are really nice. You can uh, disable the resonance here. But the resonance also adds a nice touch. We can disable it for now and maybe lower it. Let's keep it around one thousand hertz let's put some audio effects on top of that so a really nice characteristic of hi-hats is often the resonance and we can nicely replicate that with eq8 if we add an eq8 after this device you can see that we've got a bell here 
And we can even map this frequency knob to a macro for easy access. So just like this, and now we can control uh, the resonance easily. Also, we could maybe map the frequency knob and we can also control the attack of this. In this way, we've created a really cool hi-hat in just a few minutes. And if you want to use these randomized functions, we can also narrow down uh, the ranges of these macros so that you're not getting extreme results like a 60 second decay. We can say the decay can be from 80 to 800 milliseconds. Let's repeat that for the release. Actually, we can go up with this cutoff control here, minimum. Let's do the same for the resonance. And as for the attack, let's uh, keep it short, up to 20 milliseconds. And as you can hear, we are getting all sorts of hi-hats, open hi-hats, closed hi-hats. It all depends on the characteristics, especially on the decay. Make your own hi-hats, add all sorts of effects after that, compress it, saturate it. This is just the basis, very clean synthetic sound that you can later process and make your own with audio effects. So thank you guys for watching. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy. We've got a lot of start to finish courses for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell, like and comment if you like this video and I will see you in the next ones.